Good morning or afternoon or evening, depending on when you're watching this video, but it's morning here and right now. My name is Josh and today we are going to do a Strixhaven Premier Draft run. Uh, I've drafted the set a couple of times already and it seems like a really, really fun set to draft. But uh, the set kind of came out on Arena unexpectedly quickly. And so this is the first day that I've really cleared my schedule and set aside some time to do nothing but draft. Uh, because I'm an adult, I do have some stuff to do. So we're going to do one draft run and then we'll see whether we want to do any more. But we'll record this and uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll play it by ear from there. I have everything I need. Um, I have a big cup of joe, uh, well, I won't be drinking it from there, but it's brewing, and uh, arena, and you, and that's pretty much everything, actually, that's not much. Uh, so let's jump into a draft and see what we get. I think of the drafts that I've done so far, I've built a Witherbloom deck, a Lawhold deck, and a couple of Quandrix decks. Um, and so I haven't seen much from, or haven't played much with Silver Quill and uh, Prismari, but let's see how this uh, turns out. I'm open to anything. So, Heated Debate is. A nice, uh, a nice card. Combat Professor is really good here as well. Prismari Command. Prismari Command, two damage to any target. Target player draws to make a treasure. This is good. This is very good. Um, Plum the Forbidden also good. I mean, this pack is, uh, this pack's really solid. Um, Inquisition of Kozilek, I wouldn't first pick. Um, I might take it. Pack three, if it was in my colours, um, but I think this is between Prismari Command, um, where the Bloom Apprentice is very good as well. Plum the Forbidden's good, Combat Professor's good, but I think my approach to Strix Heaven Draft so far has been to just take the best card in the pack um, for the first few picks and then see which college is open. I'm finding that to be. Uh, the, the the approach with which I have the most success. Sort of stay open, keep your options open, and then uh, see what is being passed to you. So uh, what does expressive iteration do? Look at the top three, put one of them into your hand, one on the bottom of the library, and exile one. You may play the exiled card this turn. Uh, this is good. I think I like this card. Uh, I think I like that a lot. That's pretty powerful and it goes with our Prismari command. So what this does effectively is cuts Prismari off because uh, there's no other good Prismari cards here. Um, so it cuts Prismari off from everybody to our left, which hopefully means that pack two will get past better Prismari cuts. Um, so let's take this. So we've got two spells. Solve the equation, not so great. Ardent Dust Speaker is very good. Uh, is it good in this deck? Thrilling Discovery, meh. Sudden Breakthroughs, meh. I would be happy picking up an Introduction to Annihilation, but we can probably pick one up later. This pack's not great. Reject is fine. I would play Reject. Um, Ardent Dust Speaker, though, is a uh, solid body, and then it's, uh, you know, we're probably going to have a lot of instants and sorceries. Um, and it's a card advantage engine, and it's in a color that we are probably going to be able to play. There's not much red in this pack, uh, but there is some good blue. So let's take this and hope that somebody to our right isn't uh, taking all of the best red cards. I, no, I think if they were, they would have taken an Ardent Dust Speaker. So I actually think red's open here, because this is such a good card. Um... Where does it come on our tier list? Uh, Death Sea ranks it a B, so I think we, it would have gone if anybody was taking red. Um, possibly, but yeah, fine pickup. Uh, that's absolutely 
absolutely fine pickup. So, assuming we're in red blue, illustrious historian's okay. Negate, fine. Start from scratch could be a good one to have in the sideboard. Rise of Extus is very good. I really like this card, but it's it's not in either of our colours, and it's not really splashable if we play Prismari. Um, Nora's Pest Summoning. Hmm. Waterfall Aerialist. I don't hate this. Uh, it's a good creature. I'm more inclined to take the Negate. I mean, this is playable. It's a good flying creature. Uh, I'll, I'll take this. I'll take this. Uh, I don't think that pack was all too impressive. Storm Storm Kiln Artist is excellent. Pigment Storm's very good as well. Uh, Berrien Books is good. Explosive Welcome is good. And uh, if we're making a bunch of treasures, then that's the like. The, the, it could definitely be good in this deck. Um, but Storm Kiln Artist is kind of, uh, I mean, this is exactly what we want. We want to be making treasures, casting spells. Um, it kind of makes splashing easier. So I think this is definitely a Storm Kiln Artist. Quite an expensive curve at the moment. I think Prismari tends to be, though. Another Storm Kiln Artist is interesting. We don't want to play two of these, probably. Probably. Um, the only other option is Lawhold Pledge Mage, which we could definitely take. I'm in for a second Storm Kiln Artist here. Yeah, I'm going to take it. So we have three creatures, two, uh, well, four creatures, two spells so far. We do want it to be quite a spell-heavy deck. At the moment, all of these creatures are fine. Academic Dispute is a really good card. It's basically removal. We can force something to trade with our Waterfall Aerialist and then learn as well. We can pick up some good lessons um, later in the draft. Prismari Pledge Mage is fine, uh, but not super special. Uh, Burying Books is also fine, but Academic Dispute is a really good card. Um, enthusiastic Study is also fine. So lots of fine cards here. Twin Scroll Shaman is, uh, I found to be fairly good. There's quite a few combat tricks in red, which make the double strike creature even stronger. But I really want Academic Dispute here. Uh, it's a nice, cheap cantrip because it draws us a card, basically. Um, that's exactly what we want. So neither of these lands are interesting. Mm, Ogyar Battleseer. A 5 mana, 3, 4 with haste and scry 1. We have a, uh, quite a bit going on in the 4-5 slot anyway. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards spirit summoning uh, in the sideboard uh, because, I mean, going academic dispute and then getting a spirit summoning is something that I'm very happy with. Sudden breakthrough does make us a treasure, but I think think I will take the spirit summoning and just whack it in the sideboard for now. The goal is to get some learn cards at some point. So neither of these colorless cards are particularly exciting. Uh, I think that teach by example is the best choice here. If we can teach by example as a Prismari command um, or an expressive iteration, we're pretty happy with that. So I'm happy to take teach by example here. Yeah, let's, let's lock that in. Hmm. This pack's lame. Soothsayer Adept is pretty average. Dragon's Approach is not a good card in draft. Uh, you just can't rely on getting enough of them. And I don't even know if there are... Well, all of the dragons in this set are... Mythics, so you're not you can't really rely on getting any of those either. Campus Guide's playable, but we'll take Soothsayer Adept. It, I guess it could smooth out our curve and fill out our creatures, and it's 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 a dud. But there was nothing else decent in that pack. Hmm. I'm inclined to take Reject here. A lot of what we're gonna we're gonna do is instant speed. I think. Mm, hopefully. Uh, so Reject is. Fine. Resculpt, I don't think is good. If you're using it on your own creature, that's 
kind of card disadvantage. And if you're using it on your opponent's creature, giving them a 4-4 four four isn't really ideal. Uh, so we'll take Reject. Is this the same pack as before? Did we just... Okay, well, uh, start from scratch is what we'll take here, and we'll put it straight into the sideboard as an answer to a pesky creature uh, or an artifact that we need to get rid of. Sudden Breakthrough is okay here. Uh, I mean, I'm happy playing this on a Soothsayer Adept to... Um, I'll take the campus. Oh, yeah, I'll take the campus. I uh, will let someone else have the Lash of Malice make their draft a little bit better. I don't know how that was like the last pick in the pack. Um, Lash of Malice. Lash of Malice is a really good card. Thrill of Possibility is a choice. Expressive Iteration is probably better. Right? Top three, one in hand, you can play the other one. This is discard a card, draw two cards. I mean, yeah, this is better. Uh, Pillar Drop Warden, totally an option. We have plenty of spells that we'd be happy to get back. Blood Age General isn't really doing it here. Introduction to Annihilation, I'd be happy to pick up. Um, the land, the rare here in this pack is pretty rubbish. Let's take an Expressive Iteration. And let's see what we've got. So we probably want some more to do on turn three, and I think we want more spells than creatures, but let's, we've got plenty of time. Retriever Phoenix. This is a this is a really good card, and I'm definitely in to take this. Uh, there is a Prismari Campus. Hopefully we can wheel that. Especially since we've taken all the good Prismari cards. Hopefully nobody's even thinking about taking this. Uh, Quandrix Pledge Mage is also playable in this deck, and it's a pretty good card. We're going to have lots of spells. Retriever Phoenix is so good, though. Uh, a 2-2 two -two with haste that you can bring back to the battlefield anytime you learn. We've got one learn card. Is that it? So we'll definitely want to pick up some more. We're not playing this. Um, so we're going to prioritize learn a little bit because it makes this so much better. Team Pennant is also pretty damn good. Uh, but this is a Retriever Phoenix. <laughs> Mizix is mastery. We could definitely play this, uh, play this card. This is really good. Um, nothing else in this pack that's really that interesting. Maybe Fractal Summoning. But we have... Um, a few lessons so far and not so much learn. So, leaning away from that, uh, but getting past a Mizzix's Mastery is a good sign. Um, and, I mean, yeah, this is exactly what we want in this deck. Uh, a snap, take. Academic Dispute, definitely happy to see that. Definitely happy to see that. Spectacle Mage is a good card. Um, how many creatures have we got? We've got six creatures, five instants, three sorceries. Um, hmm. Well, Academic Dispute learns, which gets us a spirit summoning, which can kind of count as a creature. Um, and we can get a lot more out of our Retriever Phoenix if we take it. I do want a Spectacle Mage, and I do want this Prismari Campus, but I think that this is the best card in this pack. Um, another start from scratch, not so interested in. Soothsayer Adept, also not interested in. Uh, illustrious Historian is... Fine. I don't know if Start From Scratch is really what we want to do. Uh, illustrious Historian isn't really it either. But it might be our best choice here. I don't think it's Soothsayer Adept. I think... We could trade this off with a flyer with our academic disputes and we're happy with that. So I'll take the illustrious historian. Another academic dispute. Um, so we're reaching diminishing returns on this, but we already have a spirit summoning. We don't really want another one of these. This does give us loads of learn. Um, so it works nicely with the with the phoenix. Pigment Storm is a nice pickup. Ogya Battle Seer, not as good. Whirlwind Denial is an option, but I think Pigment Storm is way better. Uh, it's nice to pick up some removal. This, you know, relatively, we're probably about halfway through the draft. 
I don't think we have much removal. Well, actually, I say that, but this can be removal. If we uh, we can use this with removal for somebody to trade with a waterfall aerialist or a phoenix, um, and uh, yeah, you can kind of turn this into a removal spell. Uh, so we're fine with that. Claim the firstborn is probably quite good in this deck. Um, we, we don't have any way to sacrifice anything, but I can see that being good and it's a cheap spell to play. We have lots of cheap one drops to play already, but I don't want another start from scratch. I don't want a wall and nothing else in our colors. So let's take a claim. I don't know if this will make the deck though. So we want a little bit more to do on turn three. What we could do with Claim, though, is uh, steal one of their creatures and then Academic Dispute another one and then attack with their creature and force them to trade off both of their creatures, which would be glorious. Um, so this is between Prismari Pledge Mage and Thrill. Uh, we have seven creatures and a bunch of spells, and we're in pack two. So I think Pledge Mage is fine here. I feel like Thrill might be a little bit better for our deck. I'm going to take Thrill, uh, but we do need to prioritize picking up some creatures. And there we go, we have uh, a Pledge Mage. Um, now we don't have any combat tricks, which makes Twin Scroll Shaman worse. Pillar Drop Warden is an option. Might be better. I'd think we have a pretty heavy two drop slot so I'm going to take pillar drop warden um, this is between this is probably just reject I don't think blood age general is really what we're trying to do so I'll pick up a reject but this is pretty weak pick hmm I'm going to take the land here because again we have so much to do on turn two that I don't think that this creature is going to be it uh, the prismari campus just smooths out all of our choices. We'll put another start from scratch in the sideboard. That's fine. And we'll put Ogya in. Uh, I guess we have a couple of five drops now. That's, I mean, it's okay. It's just okay. It's probably the worst uh, actual Prismari card. And we have a lot of playables, so I don't think we're actually going to... Um, play it. We could splash this. No, we won't. We, I don't think it'd be worth it. Semester's End is not great in draft. Uh, Prismari Apprentice is exactly what we want in this deck. Although we don't have many spells with uh, Convert Mana Cost 5 or greater. First Day of Class is fine. Serpentine Curve might actually be uh, what we want because we're going to have a lot of spells. We're going to be going through a ton of them. Um, makes this unblockable you know I think this is actually pretty mm, pretty meh I'll take it uh, I, we might be able to wheel the, the serpentine curve I think serpentine curve might be better but I've not I've not played this card so I, I want to take it and see if it's any good we're pretty heavy on the on the two drop slot though <sighs> environmental science is Probably not what we want to do here. Draw card learn is average. I'm in for the law hold pledge mage here. We're going to be casting a lot of instants and sorceries. Uh, hopefully, we. I mean, combat professor is really good. It's just off color. Um, we hopefully will be able to play this on turn three, especially if we're making treasures and stuff. So, I believe this is our best pick. Let's clean up a little bit. So let's not play Ogya. And I don't... Oh, what's better here? Illustrious Historian might be better than Soothsayer Adept. Let's put Soothsayer Adept away. Another Stormkiln Artist seems like the only worthwhile choice in this pack. We've got a Spirit Summoning. I don't really want another one. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is really uh, a great pick. I mean, it's fine. 
The Snarl, I guess we could think about splashing green, but we're in pack three, pick three already. So I don't think we are gonna splash green. I don't want another reject. I don't think sudden breakthrough is gonna be good in our deck. We, uh, it might be, we'll revisit that later. Um, Mercurial transformation, pretty average. Arcane Subtraction, we have plenty of learn, so I don't think we need that. Curate is acceptable. Expanded Anatomy is not a great lesson for us here. Uh, there's nothing really worth splashing. We don't want another Ogya. I don't think we want any more learn. I think we have plenty. Uh, well, what do we have? One, two, three. And they're on good spells, so, you know, that's that's okay. Uh, let's take the Curate. I, I don't know if that's going to get played. Mascot Interception is interesting, and it can be a one-drop. Um, Tome Shredder is kind of exactly what we want. Elemental Masterpiece, uh, I think, is probably the best spell here. It can ramp us if we draw it early. It can be a big spell to play if we draw it late. Um, and we could ramp pretty easily with all these storm kill artists. So I think this is the best spell in this pack for us. Uh, but mascot interception I would take, time shoulder I would take, I would take another campus as well. Quintorius is very good. Um, okay, how many creatures? We've got 10 creatures. I'm in for another pigment storm. Especially with all of these, uh, like Storm Kiln Artist into Pigment Storm is is really nice. I like that a lot. It could be Time Shredder. Um, in fact, maybe Time Shredder is better here. I think we have to take Time Shredder to even out our three drop slot. Pigment Storm is great though. Um, Prismari Pledge Mage is fine. Spectacle Mage. So there's another Pigment Storm. Uh, but again, we really want to smooth out our three drops. Um, we've got one, two, three of them, and uh, we do want some more, and we're in pack three. So uh, this actually does, this is perfect to pick up. It's good on three, and it could uh, get us to a five mana, like Pigment Storm or Elemental Masterpiece, uh, a little bit quicker, especially with making treasures and stuff. So fine with that. I think we could take a Biblioplex here if we run out our entire hand. Um, we are pretty likely to hit an instant sorcery, and there's nothing in this pack that's really interesting. Um, we have enough four drops, we have enough two drops, uh, we don't want another reject, we've already got a couple, so we'll take the Biblioplex. Now I'll take the Serpentine Curve. With uh, 15 instant sorceries, if we're playing this late in the game, it could be like an eight or nine um, uh, an 8 8 or a 9 9, and, and that's pretty good. Uh, we're definitely happy with that. So that's playable. Environmental Sciences is probably my pick here. Uh, I don't think Dragon's Approach is, is playable. Um, so we'll put that in the sideboard and maybe we'll learn and grab it. I mean, it's not super exciting, but it's fine. Um, I don't want another reject. <laughs> Cogwork Ar Archivist is not getting played though, so we'll just put that in the sideboard. Ogya or Mercurial Transformation. Until end of turn, <laughs> I mean, I'll put this in the sideboard. We're more likely to select that um, from the sideboard with a learn than we are to actually play Ogya. Tome Shredder, uh, really happy with. Tome Shredder works really nicely. We'll give someone else a clever Loom Monster because it's a really good spell. Uh, we'll put the Revitalize into our sideboard and teach by example. We're super happy with <laughs> good last pick. Uh, Tome Shredder is really good in this deck, especially with Serpentine Curve, because of course Serpentine Curve counts the cards that you have in exile as well. Um, so you're not too afraid of just exiling stuff. Uh, but we do have Mizix's Mastery, um, which does get cheaper if we cast it for its overload cost. So if we did something like Spectacle Mage on three, 
Storm Kiln Artist on four, and we made a treasure on two. Then on turn five, we would have six mana available to us. This would cost eight. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'd need to play a couple of spells, and then the next turn, we could overload Mizzix's Mastery um, on what I think would be turn seven. Um, or turn six? I think it would be turn six, yeah. If we played a couple of spells on turn five with Storm Kill and Artist out, made some treasures, and then we overloaded Mizzix's Mastery, <laughs> that's just the game. That's just the game. Um, so we've got 47 cards. I'm going to play 17 lands. And so what I like to do now is I'm going to move over all of the cards that I think are cuttable. So Curate is probably cuttable, um, but I do like having Curate and Reject. I like being able to play at instant speed and, and counter something if I want to, otherwise having Curate to play. Um, how many creatures did we end up getting? 13. So we probably can't cut many creatures, though we do have... Spirit Summoning. Um, I guess we could put Ogyar in if we wanted to. Um, so Spirit Summoning, I'm going to count as a creature. So let's say we've got 14 in the deck. Um, and I, I wouldn't hate cutting one. I, I think we could probably cut one. But they're all fine. All the creatures that we've got are fine. Um, so what is cuttable? Discard a card, draw two. Is probably better then curate. Look at the top two, put, and effectively we're drawing one of them. Oh, I guess we could put all of them back. Well, we, I don't know, we, I think, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I do kind of want to keep this to try and get this interaction where we take one of their creatures and then force them to trade it with one of their other creatures. Um, I think that could be really powerful, but I I don't know if playing the Firstborn is really that good. In this deck, um, hmm. We do want to cut something from the from the two drop slot. It could be a teach by example. Yeah, that's cuttable. It just doesn't do, didn't do anything by itself. I can see cutting one. In fact, I'm going to cut one and then put this back. Because um, we will play one. It can be really powerful. Just not really in multiples, I don't think. Prismari Apprentice doesn't seem good. I don't know what I'm missing about this card. Um, we'll try it out, though. Happy to try it. A four mana... So on four mana, we want to play a Storm Kiln Artist. So I think uh, Retriever Phoenix is totally a keep as well. But I think we have enough flying that Pillar Drop Warden is pretty weak. And I think that Waterfall Aerialist isn't really what we want to be doing on four either. Serpentine Curve makes a creature, so that does count as a creature in this deck. Hmm. And we have a good amount of card draw, so when we can get by with 13 creatures, it's a little low, but I think I'm okay with it. So, I think that these two creatures are cuttable. I don't think any of the other creatures can be cut. Arden Dust Speaker is great. This is a good removal spell. We're keeping this. So, I think everything here is a solid keep. We're not cutting this. Uh, we're not cutting any of these creatures. So... Well, Claim is cuttable. I think that Dispute is not. One Reject can be cut, and I guess we're probably not going to be able to play on turn two at instant speed, given that we have two expressive iterations. So... I'm definitely cutting a reject. And then I think, if we're cutting these three, which I think we are, we have two more cuts to make. So since we're playing best of one, we could cut a land. Um, and we're making a lot of treasures. And if we're making treasures, we don't want to hit a land drop. So actually, I think I'm going to cut a mountain. Um, 
Because with the hand smoother, we do not um, need to worry about hitting all of our land drops. If we get kind of stuck, hopefully we can make a treasure on turn two to get us to four mana. And on four mana, hopefully we're playing a storm kill an artist and then we don't have mana problems again. So I'm going to cut a land. We'll see how it feels. I'm... If the deck feels good without that, I may even consider cutting another one. Um, so, <clears throat> Thrill or Curate? I think Curate's worse. Um, and I think that uh, Expressive Iteration also helps us hit our land drops. We can choose to exile the land and then play it. And then save a spell or something for another turn. So, maybe we do go down to 15 lands. Because really, as long as we get two lands, we are going to probably hit the third. Uh, we have Thrill and... Do I even want the Reject? I think I do. I think I do, yeah. So this could be the deck. Um, we have a good amount of instants and sorceries. We're pretty light on creatures, but that's okay. Because um, <clears throat> we're going to make our creatures go a long way, and we have a good amount of removal. In Pigment Storm, um, uh, the three drop. Prismari Command and Academic Dispute, if we use it cleverly, does count as removal. You know, if we use it in conjunction with a First Strike Lawhold Pledge Mage, which will have three power after we cast this, um, and then, uh, you know, or a big Tome Shredder. Um, we've got a couple of big bodies. Um, yeah, we've. I, I think that we can make this work. Curve looks okay. Hmm. Let's see how it goes. And then I would entertain actually cutting another land. So I'm going to take a picture of the deck. And let's jump into a game and see. Let's feel it out. I forgot about my coffee, but you'll be pleased to know it's still nice and warm. Perfect drinking temperature, and exactly what we need to fire us up for this draft. Plum by Lake. See, the land worked out, and this hand is kind of the nuts. We've got a 2-3 curve. Um, I mean, I guess we could make a treasure, but we, we won't. Uh, we're on the on the draw, uh, but yeah, I mean, this is a keep. Cool. Um, so we might want to play this on three instead of the Law Hold Pledge Mage. I think it depends what the opponent does. Arrogant Poet. Uh, so we are going to cast Expressive Iteration here. Uh, when it, So they can give this flying. So I think then what we do is play the Law Hold Pledge Mage on three so it can effectively block this. Because um, it has First Strike, even if they equip with the Pennant. So. This is... This is okay. We want to put this in our hand uh, we'll put the mountain back into the library and we'll exile this land and we won't be able to play it this turn but oh well we have three lands so that's fine and we have a uh, a three and four curve in, I mean, we have loads of options here 
<clears throat> Academic Dispute is nice. Uh, so, we play Lawhold Pledge Mage, and now they have to pay the life <clears throat> to give the Arrogant Poet flying if they want to attack in. Yep, that's fine. <clears throat> We're not going to block this yet. Does it have Vigilance? If it does, we can kill it. Yeah, this lets us kill it. Um, so, we didn't hit a land. But, we can Academic Dispute and Environmental Sciences and then play a land. If we dispute this, uh, we can kill the Yiga first year. They can't really kill our thing. Uh, so let's go to combat. Declare our attack. Cast this. Target this. It has to block. No, you can't have reach. And we will take... We could take start from scratch to destroy the pennant. Uh, but I think it's more important to hit our land drop for this turn. So we'll take environmental sciences. We'll gain some life, we'll find the land, <clears throat> we'll shuffle that island back into our library. Uh, I think we want to take a mountain here. I think the mountain is more important. I'll play it. <clears throat> okay. Opponent has emptied out their hand. Another academic dispute is such a good card. It's such a good card. Um... I think I am going to play it. Uh, we could... What else can we do? We can make Tome Shredder. Um, I think Spectacle Mage is probably the best option beyond that. I guess we could make a Treasure as well. Uh, so let's start with Academic Dispute. What do we want to get rid of? the Pledge Mage. Um, uh, we could Spirit Summoning, or we could start from scratch and destroy the artifact. No, we start from scratch and destroy one of their creatures. So we kill that, we go to next, we cast this, one damage to any target, take out the arrogant pellet. And now they're, you know, they had an aggressive start, but they're kind of out of gas. Yeah, good job, bro. <clears throat> so. We probably just play out Stormkiln Artist here. It could be Retriever Phoenix, I suppose. Uh, none of these are particularly good defensive bodies. So first we're going to attack. We know that. Maybe we should have held it back, actually. Oh no. I feel like Stormkill Artist is our best bet because then if we do draw a spell, at least we're making treasures. Okay, no blocks. We'll take four, we're down to five. 
Okay. Island. Uh, this is a 4-4. <clears throat> it's pretty threatening. What do we do? What do we do about that? I think we play our least... Well, we play a Phoenix. Do we make a treasure from this? And then play a Phoenix? That's totally not worth it. So we play a Phoenix uh, because then we can trade that off with the Star People. <clears throat> because we don't mind if it dies. Uh, oh, we also get a learn. That's nice. Um, I actually forgot about that. We've got one mana left. We'll take this to destroy the pennant. No attacks. Yeah, so what we can do here is um, both of these blocks. Because if the Phoenix dies, we don't mind. Cool. <clears throat> yep, that gets three counters. Okay, that's a 5-5. Five, five. I kind of forgot that that would happen. Uh, how do we beat it? Because we can't take another hit from it. So we'll destroy the team pennant. That makes it a humble 4-4. Four, four. So we could make a treasure at instant speed and then trade off the Stormkiln Artist because it would have 4 power. But if they remove this, then we're just dead. It doesn't seem worth it. It seems too risky. Do we go for it? I think so. I think if they had a removal spell, they would have played it last turn. So we end the turn, uh, and we're going to discard this to make a treasure and pump this up to four. Okay, it's blocked, which means we're not dying. And uh, now we're actually we're in a really good spot. Um, so we could one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does this overload for eight? So we could cast every instant or sorcery that we've got here that's insane This mountain. <laughs> that was great. Absolutely great. What a great game. Mis <laughs> the Mystical Archive cards are so, so brilliant in draft. They add such an such a chaos. Mm. Um, I'm pretty happy with the deck. <laughs> it works well. Uh, there are loads of ways to remove other people's creatures. Uh, we actually had loads of creatures in that game and not enough spells. Uh, but we had enough spells in the graveyard that Mizix's mastery was such an excellent rip off the top. The treasures really doing their work. Um, 
academic dispute was really good uh, with Lord Hold Pledge Mage, which we thought it would be. Uh, yeah, that was brilliant. <laughs> that, was, that was a brilliant, brilliant game. Okay, we're against Royal Assassin. And we're going first, yay! And we have a really good aggressive hand, actually, uh, with Prismari Apprentice and then spells to play. Um, like Thrill, uh, we can discard any excess land, we could probably discard this Teach, so this is definitely a keep, and this is a good aggressive card. Uh, and we do have the big spell for it. Reject is interesting, <clears throat> but I'll just play out the, the Apprentice. Um, let's see if they play a creature. They did. Would they trade these off? Would they trade these off? Well, okay, so we could just Prismari Command and kill this thing and make a treasure, which seems good. Uh, and I'm gonna do it, it just seems really good. This, is this spell good? I really don't know. I really don't know. Uh, but I'm gonna do it, it gets us closer. So we make a treasure, two damage to any target. Two damage to you, we make a treasure. Gets us closer to casting Elemental Masterpiece, which would just be brilliant. Next turn, we can hold up Reject and Thrill, maybe. And if there's nothing to reject, we could Teach by Example and Thrill. Um, so that we discard a card and draw four cards, I believe, is how that would work. A two, three. Uh, do we want to get in? No, right? Because, yeah, we don't really care about getting in. We're, we're losing two damage, but doing all of this at instant speed, being able to reject a powerful creature that they play. Better to have that option, I think, than to get in for the two points of damage. Okay, do we want to counter this? Probably. It's pretty dangerous. Um, yeah, off you go. And we could just make a treasure. I'm happy to just make a treasure here, actually. We'll play Elemental Masterpiece from our graveyard somehow at some point. So Storm Kiln Artist is a great card here. Um, we will swing in, we'll keep being aggressive. Um, and we'll probably thrill and throw away the Teach by example at the end of the turn. Cool, yeah. Hard cast by you, Groff. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna cast Thrill. We're gonna discard this. Draw a couple cards. Academic Dispute is nice, and uh, Lawhold Pledge Mage is also nice. So we could, <clears throat> we could use Mizix's Mastery to well, we're on four. Let's see. Could we get to eight again? Uh, very reasonably with a Storm Kill Artist out. So let's start with a... Hmm. If we start with a dispute, what do we get? What do we get out of our sideboard? Environmental sciences. Um, that means we hit a land drop, we go to five, we've made two more treasures, and that's Mystics' Mastery next turn. Right, so we do that. Uh, academic dispute, Vortex Runner has to block. <clears throat> yep, you can have reach. Uh, we will take environmental sciences, we'll cast it. 
we'll find a mountain, we'll play the mountain, and uh, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to overload Mizzix's Mastery next turn. Well, this can't be blocked, right? So we attack with this, yep. And yeah, we sit back and we're gonna be playing, uh, I mean, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff. No blocks. This is just incredible. <laughs> incredible. Uh, what, what an absolute bomb of a card. So we want to time it so that we cast um, the copy spell just before we cast our most powerful spell. Um, so... Last in, first out. So first, let's... Uh, we want to copy Elemental Masterpiece, I would think. So... If we make that the first on the stack and then teach by example, yeah. So that's the first one on the stack, then teach by example, um, and then we can do everything else. Uh, we can put Prismari command on the stack. We will make a treasure, two damage to any target, two damage here, we make a treasure. Uh, we will academic dispute, this has to block environmental sciences thrill of possibility discard expressive iteration this is fine I think I think that was a little bit of the wrong order we want environmental sciences bef uh, to resolve before thrill so that we could discard the land but I mean are we worried about what's going on here not really This is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, what do we want? Spirit summons? <laughs> I don't even know. There's too much. There's, there's just too many decisions to be made here. Good one, bro. <laughs> Blew my plans out of the water. Um, I don't even know uh, how to process everything that's happening now. Um, let's play out Law Hold Pledge Mage because it's very good. Uh, let's play out Spirit Summoning because we're still making treasures. Let's not pigment storm this turn. Let's use all the removal next turn. This goes in. Uh, I guess we could. No, it's too late to pigment storm now. And they have good blockers, so let's just go in with this. And end the turn. Next turn, we will pigment storm and phoenix and take out the drake and then attack in. What do you got? Oh boy. Hope you have another snakeskin veil. Doesn't matter anymore, I don't think. Um, so let's... I guess we could just run this in to... Oh, no, that won't work. Let's... Pigment Storm first. Um. <clears throat> Let's play a Retriever Phoenix. Let's just pay. The 
one damage doesn't do anything. Uh, uh, that's enough for the opponent. <laughs> Mizix's mastery. What an absolutely incredible pull. This deck is this deck is so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> Limited. What we what we just did in those two games was in limited. Ah, incredible.